Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. So on our last episode, we played as the robot, and despite killing the high dragon, we were not able to go down to the past. There was a scripted event that pulled us into the sixth chamber, Bullet Hell. Um, maybe the next time we play as a robot, we can kill the dragon again and get to the robot's past. Um, but this episode, let's see, before the robot we played as the marine, so this, this episode let's play as the pilot. <clears throat> and uh, let's take the pilot's alternate costume out for a spin. Now we have 18 hegemony credits. Um, this guy's got airstrike, the op, and the RC rocket. Let's see, uh, let's see how our hunt is going. I don't think we got very many on the last run. We need to hunt 42 blobulon. So I guess we must have killed eight. I think the starting was was fifty. Um, and then let's come up here to Ox and Cadence, see what we can pick up. Freeze ray, nano machines, science cannon, singularity, grass chopper. Um, you know, nano machines I like. And then is there something for eight? The grass chopper. We could get the science cannon or the freeze ray. Let's get the science cannon. Okay, nano machine science cannon unlocked, and that is still blocked off to us for now. Um, so let's see, what do we need to accomplish on this run? The elevator on the third floor. Uh, Taylor needs three armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we were not able to do that on the robot run. We got outplayed. Um, okay, so first room is ferrying a bottle. Alright. Um, we probably won't need that on this floor, but if we do end up taking damage, then at least we know we can go down to the next floor with full health. Um, wow, I'm missing a lot of these shots. No worries. Unlimited ammo. Uh, now with the pilot, um, it's been a while since we've gone down to the oubliette. And, uh, and the Abbey of the True Gun. So maybe we can try to do that on this run. Uh, the pilot, I'm okay with using those keys on the first floor to get to the Oubliette. Um, thanks to the lockpick that we start off with. So that gives us a nice little advantage. A good way of kind of guaranteeing that uh, we can get down there and still have the possibility of picking up items. Uh, beyond the Oogle yet, uh, what are we looking for? Um, we still need to come across some of the red caped bulletkin to unlock the other secret character. Okay, so our water barrel blew up there. I did see another one uh, a couple a couple rooms back. We should be able to roll that all the way over here. And I am going to do that now, just so I don't forget about it. Now, where was that water barrel? Was it in this room? Oh boy. Wherever it is, it's pretty far away from where we need it to be. Here it is. Let's just get this out of the way. Okay, so we've got a nice little jaunt ahead of us to get this water barrel into the fireplace room. Luckily, there aren't really any obstacles like pits that we have to consider. It's just a long series of rooms we just have to get through. Um, I don't know where I want this. I guess right there is fine. Alright, just one more room off to the left here. And before we do this, I will push the tables out of the way. Alright, let's hope for the best here. I hope it doesn't get stuck on the wall right here. But it looks like it should go through. Oh, of course. Alright, let's try this again. Right there? That might be too low. Nope, we got it. Okay, so that didn't take too long. Sometimes I have real trouble um, dragging one of these water barrels across the map. 
That's why a lot of times I just try to be careful in the fireplace room if there's already a water barrel in there. Sometimes just getting through doorways is, um, it's hard. Finding that perfect spot where it won't get stuck on either wall. Now the red caped bulletkin, I keep saying we want to, we want to save them or we, we want to come across them, we need to encounter them. What they do is nothing except try to kill themselves, basically. Um, but they will not shoot at you. They'll just wander around the room. And then after a while, they will disappear. And that's what we're looking for. Um, pretty much just kill everything else in the room while avoiding them. And uh, once everything else is dead, just wait until they fuck off. Now, in that meantime, be careful. Um, as far as I could tell, there's no way to really lead them around the room away from traps or pitfalls. Um, I've seen them walk into a pool of poison and die, or uh, you know, a pool of fire on the ground and just incinerate themselves. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no way to really guide them away from or towards anything like that. I think they just kind of move however they feel like moving. So up here we have uh, the blank man whose name is escaping me right now. He's got the elder blank for 55, the frost amulet or lodestone amulet for 30. Um, we have a key on the floor over here that we can open a chest, or that we can use to get into the oubliette. So we may not buy a key from our main shopkeeper. Um, if we don't do that, elder blank sounds really really good there is the boss room let's look around for our item rooms maybe we can use the lock pick and get something get something for free okay not a mimic um let's lock pick it and we did get it and it's the gungeon ant um you know i imagine this should still be able to find secret room openings but i'm not really sure uh, we could definitely use that on the boss. Um, it would work really well against, say, the Trigger Twins. Uh, not as well against the Bullet King. And then kind of somewhere right in the middle for Gatling Gull. Trigger Twins would be really nice for it because they, um, they're both, you know, constantly ground-based. Okay, so that's not it. That's not it. That does not appear to be it either. I'm pretty sure you only have to shoot it once for them for the cracks to show up. Um, so we have a brown chest. I wouldn't. I don't care if I have to blow it up. If I have to break it apart. If we. Um, okay, so we are able to charge up the lockpick on this room, so we don't necessarily have to break it. But say we uh, try the lockpick and it fails. I'm okay with that. It's a brown chest. We're not really guaranteed anything great out of it. Yeah. It would be our passive. Um, there are some good passives that come out of the brown chests. Unfortunately, we did not manage to get that. Uh, Elder Blank, we are two credits away from. Um, and we have... Let me remember how to use this item. Shoots out pools of oil, and then shoots out fire. So yeah, I just need to keep him lighting himself on fire here. And since he's already immolated, as long as I can keep him on fire, then the oil will, uh, well, I missed catching him on fire there. Oh, I messed up. Okay, here we go back on track here. Um, as long as I can keep him on fire, then just being able to shoot oil at him while he's walking around will um, will enable me to keep him on fire. I'm just having a hard time getting that down. He doesn't seem to be staying on fire for very long unless he's standing directly in it. Oh, I tried to roll through a table. That didn't work. Um, wow, this is scary. I could have saved that um, by using a blank, and I just ch chose not to.
Okay, he's almost gone here. Uh, we have taken a little bit of damage, but we do have the fairy in a bottle sitting back for us at the beginning of this floor. There we go. So I'm not too worried that we took some damage there. Um, we did use a lot of the ammo for our Gungeon Ant, but what do you know, we get the Scrambler. So that's definitely going to carry us through the next couple of boss fights. Um, that does not appear to be a secret room. That also does not appear to be a secret room. Um, I guess it could be on the shop. And then if it's not here, then we'll try it in the, um, the room with the fairy in a bottle. And I am going to go ahead and just buy Elder Blank. I think it's worth it. It gives us a little bit of curse, not a lot of curse. And then we could even still buy a key and have quite a bit of money. And then we can use that key on the next floor. Just get a little bit of value out of it. Um, so I guess I'll teleport here and run over to the... No, I'm not even going to do that. We'll ignore the fairy in a bottle, I guess. I'll just come up here and grab the health from that spot. As far as I know, fairy in a bottle doesn't do anything special if you're at full health. Or near full health, it'll just... I think if you're at full health, they just ignore you. Tell you to stop wasting their time. Um, oh, I was going to blank in that room. I'll blank in this room, see if it's there. Nope. I don't think the secret room can be off of this room anyways. That would be awful cruel. Okay. And into the oubliette we go. I'm going to switch back to the starter gun here. Um, okay. So the reason I wasn't shooting is, um, I wasn't sure if that enemy in front was a caped bulletkin or not. Um, right between, and you can see, I guess it's the handle of the gun, the grip, um, on that, on that enemy sprite is kind of dark red or brown, and I was just having trouble telling if that was the color of the cape or not. So basically I just waited until it shot at me. I was like, okay, that's... The enemy I'm looking for will not shoot at me, so... Clearly that's not it. Um, I will switch over my active item to the Elder Blank, just so we have it on standby. Now, a great synergy with the Elder Blank is an item I believe we've had before, Full Metal Jacket. And what that does is it automatically uses a blank when you would otherwise get hit. And with Elder Blank, um, if you are about to get hit and Elder Blank is charged up, then, oh, we got a cell key, then it will just activate Elder Blank automatically. Uh, Elder Blank also synergizes with any of the amulets um, as they uh, modify any blank use, and Elder Blank counts as using a blank. It counts the exact same as using a blank, popping armor, uh, if you have table tech blank, all of those will have all of the effects of popping a blank. Okay, uh, that's a special sniper, a little champion sniper. Sneak around the corner and shoot him. I am playing kind of conservatively. Um, this level, the enemies are just, they have a lot of health, and, um... I don't have a lot of weapons. So I'm trying to just use my starter pistol here. It's taking a while to kill these guys, but... Oh, uh, wow, it doesn't even have a long enough range to get across there. Okay, cleared out the room. Um, I'm just trying to save ammo. The Scrambler, I don't know if I'll even use it on this floor's boss, um, because we can't get a Flawless from it, and I would hate to run out of ammo for it. Uh, before we get a chance to use it on the next floor where we could actually gain benefit from flawlessing the boss. If we take a little bit of damage on the boss on this floor, it's not a big deal. Um, damn it. I'm still figuring out this room. I thought I had it for a while, but then I just forgot when I need to um, when I need to start rolling. Oh, I used the wrong active item there. So we got the compass, I did pick up a key, didn't really mean to. 
Uh, the compass. <coughs> The compass has a couple of interesting synergies. Unfortunately, I don't have access to them right now, and uh, I would have to give up one of these other two items just to hope for it. So I am going to pass on the compass right now. Instead, we'll just go back to using our starter pistol. Um, we have our... Oh! I could have used... Oh, I couldn't have used Elder Blank there because I, um, I messed up and already used it on something. Um, but yeah, I should have Elder Blank out. Here's our cell room. Oh, you know what? We forgot to talk to someone back at the breach. We forgot to talk to the uh, person we saved last time. Anyways, who is this? Finally, I can get out of this dump. Thank you. I thought I'd be trapped in the bowels of this place forever. Thank you again. Hopefully I will see you soon. So we'll run into you back at the breach, I'm sure. Um, we have the old crest room down there, which does require a key. I'll hold off on that until the end of the floor. Um, I think no matter what, we'll walk out of this with a key to use on that door. Um, yeah. And since we don't have, um, really... Our, our late game, or I guess end game goal right now is to finish bullet hell. If we make it past the dragon on this run, that's what we're going to do. We've already killed the past. Uh, we don't really need to go back and repeat that. So I think uh, I'm okay with going down to the Abbey of the True Gun, or at least attempting it. Because if we end up dying on it, or it it manages to cripple our run, uh, because we end up taking too much damage, but still make it through, but then don't have enough damage to get through the third or maybe the fourth floor, um, I'm okay with that, because we have a lot of runs ahead of us where we're going to be going through bullet hell. I don't expect to beat it on the first try. Well, I guess the last run was the first try. I don't expect to beat it on the second try. <laughs> I, I say things like this because on the last run, in the middle of the dragon fight, or maybe at the beginning of the dragon fight, um, green chest I will pop. And it's the jolter, which is very good for killing bosses. Um, or rooms in general. Anyways, I was saying, um, I'm kind of talking down my ability to beat out the game and beat these bosses, because it, at the beginning of the final boss fight on the last run, uh, I meant to use active, brought up the map. Anyways, beginning of the dragon fight on the last run, I was saying, oh, I need to flawless this boss if I want to beat it. I only had one armor left. That was it. On the robot, one armor. So one hit and I'm dead. And I managed to flawless the boss for the first time. With the robot nonetheless. Okay, so we got some ammo. Um, the only thing that needs it is the Gungeon Ant. I've been... I've been uh, saving everything else. Um, so I I feel like because of that, if I start saying, Oh, I'm, never, I'm not going to beat Bullet Hell on the first or second try. Well, maybe I will. It's a reverse self-fulfilling prophecy. Self-disproving prophecy? I don't know what that would be called. Here's the shop. We're really low on health. He has a half heart for sale. Um, beyond that, there's no health on the floor, so I will take your half heart. I do not want the unfinished gun. We've got a room full of bullet bats. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where did... Where were those ones in the middle coming from? Do these guys shoot out multiple bullets? Am I just now learning this? No, that one seemed to only shoot out one. I don't know where those other bullets came from. It's strange. I really thought I was tripping. Okay, juking out on these guys. Oh, wow, I thought that bullet was going to hit me there. I meant to dodge up to begin with, but my joystick was just slightly off, and I ended up dodging to the side. Still just, just at the right angle to avoid getting hit. Alright, little vomit man. Get out of my face here with that poison nonsense. 
Um, it might be about time I switch to like the Jolter to start taking on rooms, or this could be a very long run. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to switch to the Jolter. It does a lot of damage. It's a very good weapon. Uh, for this guy, I can I can kill him with the basic pistol. He deserves that. But then I will switch back to the Jolter. Not that these enemies are are hard or you know difficult to kill or take a ton of time to kill. Just speeding things up a little bit. Uh, so we found both item rooms. This room up here to the top must be the boss, or at least the path to the boss. Yeah, there's still a couple, at least one more room. Okay, we're almost back up to full HP. It's a good feeling. Okay, so here's the boss fight. Um, the Gungeon Ant... I think I'll do this, but I'm basically, once I hit the, uh, once I get to the oil... I'm going to fire off one shot, reload, and switch back to the fire. Uh, he is immune to the... I'm just going to blank that. He is immune to the oil effect. Uh, the blood that he spreads around with him um, just kind of negates the oil. Okay. So far he hasn't tripped me up. Oh! right there I thought he did and I really should have taken a hit there not sure what happened um so yeah I'm basically just sticking with the fire because that will that effect it does stick on him for a second not long but any damage over time is more value than you're getting otherwise this attack is getting old see this is one of those attacks that I hate where it's a phase of untargetability Cannon Balrog does it. Um, High Priest does it. I'm constantly complaining about it. I just don't like it. I don't like it as a boss mechanic, boss fight mechanic. I feel like if there's not a moment where I can deal damage without the boss retaliating then why should the boss be able to deal damage without me retaliating? I guess that's really what it comes down to. Give me a chance to fight back. Especially when, uh... I mean, like, this... This fight, he's done it how many times now? Four? And he has not done the little smiley attack yet. This is the... I mean, again, this is nuts. This is at least the fourth time. I know I've blinked it twice. Oh! I stood right in a pile of oil and a pile of oil. Puddle of oil. And, um... Didn't catch it in time. That's too bad. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm out of ammo for it. So we'll switch to the Jolter. Uh, again, I'm saving the scrambler ammo until at least the next floor when we can get value from flawlessing the boss. And just get a little bit more from getting that flawless. Now, I always, you know, anytime the boss has a little thing like that, which most of them do, I like to just shoot at it. Makes me feel better. So we got two keys, that's pretty good, and we got Nano Machine Sun. Uh, and what this does, it gives us a little bit of armor to start off with, and then uh, when, when you take four hits, I believe, um, it activates and gives you another armor. So it's health when you get hit, but every couple times you get hit. So it looks like it gives you two armor right off the bat. That's very nice. Um, so yeah, I thought we would have at least one key, we have three come down here and get this. Let's check the walls with, I guess, the Jolter. Not there. Um, I guess it could be in this room. Doesn't appear to be. And then we'll blank the shop. It's not in here? Hmm. 
We already checked the elevator room? We did not check the elevator room. Well, that was silly. Let's go check the elevator room. Maybe it's in there. I don't think it's going to be in here, actually. So the way I've been told to look at the map to search for the secret room is to draw a rectangle around the perimeter of the rooms. So kind of like this. And then it's most likely to show up away from the starting room, but it's always going to be inside that rectangle. So if I had to guess, I'd say it would be right here, but we checked that. My next guess would be in here, but we checked off of this room and this room. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to go check this one again. Um... Okay, so I don't think it's going to be off of that. I checked the side of that room already. Um, would it be up here? No, it's definitely not there. Could it then be somewhere based off of based off of that? Could it be off of this room? Hmm, I'm not sure. My only other guess would be maybe this room below here. So this one. No, I don't think so. Because it can also only appear where there would normally be a door. There's a couple of rules. At least that's that's my understanding of it. That's all the, the what I've been able to find is in that rectangle, further away from the starting point than closer to it, and look for where there would be a door, but there's not a door. So anyways, on to the Gungeon proper, second floor. Uh, we want to avoid taking damage, at least until we find uh, the old crest room. Or I guess the room to set down the old crest. I'm going to take the Jolter, it's more efficient at killing enemies than the Gungeon Ant. And even though I have more ammo, um, for the Jolter, I would rather keep it at full ammo. Okay, so I need to be kind of careful about... Ooh, I need to be kind of careful about these curse pots. We have a little bit of curse from Elder Blank. I don't want to stack up too much. It does increase the amount of money you get, but I think it decreases the amount of drops you get after a room, um, and then it definitely increases the amount of jammed enemies you're likely to come across. It increases the potential for an enemy to be jammed when they spawn. Uh, bosses can also be jammed. And then when you uh, max out on cursing, you'll know when you max it out, something special happens. Um, actually, there is a way to uh, pretty easily get cursed right at the start of a run. So maybe on, ne on a, an upcoming video, we'll do a cursed run. Uh, black chest, we pretty much have to open it. I, I'm not going to use the lockpick on this. And we get the fight saber, which is another cursed weapon, but it's very good. Uh, reload to reflect nearby bullets. Um... I'm going to use this on some rooms just to kind of show it off. Uh, I don't really want any of these. Basically just checking for a secret room. Uh, I already checked that side. So we'll come back down here, continue on through the floor. To give you an idea, I've shot off a couple of bullets. Whenever it's in that animation, uh, it deflects bullets. Those first couple of swipes across uh, right and left that he does. So basically, as it's reloading, you deflect bullets. You can use it to break apart enemy shot patterns that can be difficult, um, specifically on bosses. Now, I already have a very decent boss-killing weapon, but this can be nice uh, in case one of them runs out of ammo. Now, we have a ton of money. We can pick up the Anvilin, which is a pretty good gun for clearing rooms. I just don't feel like we really need that... I don't feel like we need many more guns. Um, 
I tell you, I would really like a passive item right now. Just a decent passive, because I don't think... We have nano machines, but that's about it. I mean, that that is it. Nano machines and then our starting stuff and the old crest. Oh, and there goes the old crest. Well, I guess we're not getting down to the uh, abbey this run. That's too bad. I feel like every time I end up losing the old crest on this floor, the crest room ends up being right around the corner. And I feel like a fool. So we'll keep picking up ammo for the jolter. Uh, this room is pretty easy. They give you plenty of space to maneuver. As far as trap rooms go, give me that one every time. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't just break the bullets. I'm sorry, I was wrong about that. It actually reflects them back at whatever shot them at you. So that's actually a lot more valuable than I, than I remember it being. I think I've gotten this gun maybe once on the on my other save file. It's a very good weapon. Oh, killed him with his own the tail of his own bullets there. Oh, that was I should have known better than to try to do that. <laughs> I was trying to reflect the sniper bullet back at him, but it came out just way faster than than I thought it would. <laughs> um, so we have taken a little bit of damage on this floor, but thanks to all of our armor, we haven't felt it on our red hearts yet. We got another key. That's crazy. There's another key sitting back in the shop, and we already bought one. Uh, so we know this is going to be our passive item. I definitely want to open this just with a key. And we get remote bullets. Um... I'm gonna take it. Um, this this passive is much better if you use keyboard and mouse. It just lets you aim the bullets a lot more accurately. Uh, so we have two blanks, two keys. I feel like the secret room is going to be right here off the bottom of this shop. Uh, if you ask me why, I'm not sure. I guess because it's not here or here, uh, and the seek or and the elevator room is going to be outside of the confines of that rectangle. So my guess is right here. Uh, we'll see after this boss fight though. And I'm going to switch to the scrambler and I guess on standby we'll do the fight saber. Yeah, I would like the fight saber to fight the uh, rockets that this guy shoots out. For sure. And then we still have the Elder Blank for if things get a little hairy. Okay, I used a regular Blank there. Um, maybe I should have used the Elder Blank first just to get it on cooldown. Ooh, yeah. Um, that's the problem with remote bullets, actually, is if you're off by a little bit, the auto-aim doesn't really snap them back into place the way that it should. Oh, wrong, uh, wrong button there. Um, I'm going to, oh, well, I was going to pop Elder Blank, and then he just ended up dying instead. We got another key. We got some armor, we got basically two HP here, that's nice. And, uh, feeling pretty strong coming out of this floor. So, actually, it could be right here. Maybe? Maybe not. Um, let's check in the shop. Is it right there? It is. It's right where I thought it would be. Um, and then this chest does not appear to be a mimic. Are you breathing? You're not breathing, are you? Okay, it's just more HP. Unfortunately, we can't really get value out of that. The Anne Villain. I really like it. It's good for clearing out rooms. And then if you can get something like, um, you know, bullet modifiers... It can hit enemies twice and affect them twice, based off of that. Larger enemies specifically. Um, I'm trying to think of an example of something that I know offhand. Uh, the big mushrooms, uh, it will hit them once right when it passes through, and then tick again for another hit of damage right after it passes through. Beyond that, it uh, 
Well, I thought it... Okay, it does... Oh, that was a red-caped bulletkin right there. And uh, I didn't notice it until the anvil was in flight. So you do have to charge it up for it to pierce through enemies. Um, but something like bouncing bullets on this... And actually, now that I'm realizing it, something like remote bullets on this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Wow, uh, also dangerous. <laughs> How long will this just fly through the air on me? Okay, quite a while. Well, that's entertaining. I'm pretty glad I bought this, actually, now. I was regretting it for a second after the, uh, Incident with the red caped bulletkin, but I'm not. I'm over it. We'll run into more of them. Uh, maybe not on this run, but in the future we will. They are not like uh, some of the other rare things in this game, like rainbow chests or glitched chests, where shit. Good luck finding one. Hey, we got the science cannon. We just unlocked this. Um, what can we use to check this? Check with the jolter, I guess. Uh, it's You know you're in a good place when your jolter is the gun you would rather use to shoot the walls to check for secret rooms. Like, you're in a good place when that's where you're at in this game. I mean, my other room clearing options are like the fight saber, the anvilin, the scrambler. <laughs> These are my other options for weapons right now. Very nice. I, I'm really liking the value I'm getting out of Anvil and with uh, remote bullets. That's insane. This combo is just busted. Oh, and the Anvil and can stun. I forgot about that. It's just been dealing so much damage that it's one-shotting pretty much everything I'm I'm shooting at it, or I'm shooting at with it. Sorry, I had to use my brain for a moment there and my brain was otherwise occupied yeah <laughs> wow just killed the shit out of that guy wow yeah this is strong um <laughs> I had doubts about whether or not this would work that makes me wonder what it's going to be like on the boss. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> Everything that just happened there was incredible. This combination is too much. Uh, we got t-shirt gun, we got ammo synthesizer. I think I kind of have to take that. I, I don't see a reason not to, um, because it will, if, if it gives me more of a chance to get ammo for this and villain setup that I have going on, you know, I almost considered selling the remote bullets or saying, you know, I, I might sell this when I pick them up because I'm not using keyboard and mouse, um, but I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of it using the joystick. It, it's just hard to tell where your cursor is, but with something like this, it's pretty obvious where your where your bullet is going. Is there anything else on the floor back there? No, I thought the little island in the middle of this room was a key. Um, charging up my gun between rooms. Doing really well killing enemies. Oh, missed. There we go. I don't know if you can hit this enemy off of the edge there. I don't think you can. But I can just kind of sit back here and fire pot shots at him. Oh, I almost even came back for the blue shotgun. Oh, I just missed there. So that's also a danger of it, is just trying to be too fancy. Missing shots completely. Okay. Room emptied. I like the, um... I'll try to to highlight it here in a second, but I like the way the anvilin looks when it's empty. It gets a little little bit of flavor to it. The end of it's all blown out. That's what I'm talking about. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this first round of ammo for the anvil in. That was my whole intention when I bought the the ammo synthesizer. Um, yeah, let's just kind of throw this anvil through here and mess shit up. This is going beautifully. Just absolutely way better than I could have imagined. Now I understand this isn't how it's going to work when I start killing bosses. But it might. I don't know which bosses I would be fighting that this would work on. I don't think Wallmonger would work, but maybe Kill Pillars. Um, but that might be too much, actually, for my brain to to handle. I, I'm thinking about the phase where um, they're all jumping in the middle of the room, and you have the spinning bars and they send a circle radiating out that attack trying to manage the jumps in that as well as guiding my laser guided uh, anvils <laughs> I, I could see me taking damage stupidly on that when I could just sit back and take shots at it with the scrambler and let the auto aim of the little chickadees do my dirty work for me Okay, um, so, not a mimic, we'll pop this. We have four keys, I'm not gonna risk it with the lockpick on a green chest like that. Um, Heart of Ice is fine, I like it. Okay, no secret room there. I like it. Uh... Yeah, I think on this fight, I'm just going to switch to the Scrambler. Just let that take care of it. I don't think uh, the Fight Saber does anything to the C4 men that are making me very nervous right now. <laughs> okay, they all fucked off. Oh, nice. <laughs> I got a little nervous there that the egg was going to break and they were all just going to explode at me but I had oh you know I had my elder blank ready I could have popped it there instead uh, I am going to pop it here just get rid of that attack still got two blanks um, one of those at least I want to save for looking for a secret room okay he's almost dead Almost. Almost. <laughs> Just need to load him up with a bunch of little more chickens. Just elder blank that. And there we go. We got two more keys. This is ridiculous. Um got the mega dowser which is not very good I don't know if this can search for secret rooms or not hmm I totally forgot we had the science cannon too that's a really good weapon it can lay down some status effects on guys um, is there armor in here there's one piece of armor in here unfortunately that is not our secret room the reason I'm curious about the secret room is it could have armor in it and uh we need that armor for the elevator. Um, where else would it be? Maybe here? Or over here? I don't think it would be over here. I searched all of this. I must have. Yeah, I remember because I also searched the side of uh, this room for it. Um, hmm. I guess I'll come down here and look in this room perhaps? Could it possibly be over this side? Or maybe over here? I would really like to finish this elevator request. Um, even if it means having to search all of these rooms one at a time. So uh, you may want to skip ahead until it looks like I'm off this floor. And if you see me with, I guess, no armor? then you know what I've done, and if you see me with armor, then you know what I've not done. Hmm. 
Searching, searching, searching. Looking for the keys of the kingdom. Not finding anything. The worst part is I'm probably going to hit one of the... One of the spots where it would show. But I'm just not going to notice it. I always look at the top of the wall for the cracks. That's where I've noticed them to reliably show up. Um, did I not just check this room? Yikes. Okay. Where else could it be? I checked that room. I think I checked this room as well. I don't see anything hanging on the walls. I must have shot it all off. Oh boy. Uh, we did check the shop. I don't think I shot up this room yet. Not there. Could it possibly be on this one? No. I don't think it's going to be against the bottom side of that wall. Maybe along this one though? No. I'll double check this treasure room. Though I know we already searched it. Um, we'll check this room to the left. I'm trying to just kind of systematically go through all of these rooms. But boy, it's, uh, it's just not revealing itself to me. I don't know if it could be there based off of the boss room. But I'm not sure if there is a rule involving the boss room in terms of the generation of this kind of room. I feel like uh, I would have seen it if it was in here. Hmm. We search here. I'm pretty sure we searched this room as well. I have no idea where that where that secret room could possibly be. Unless it is off of the elevator room and I just didn't shoot the right side of the elevator room. Is it over here? I don't see it. I don't think it would be on this side. That's outside of our rectangle. Okay, well... Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the elevator on this run. Maybe next time. And now that we know that the elevator takes six armor with the robot, maybe we'll be able to plan ahead better in the future and accomplish it on our next robot run. We'll see. If I can just wind up taking less damage on the first couple of floors, then the robot run would have been the ideal place to do it. I just royally messed up the beginning of that run, and it, um, that's not where it cost us. <laughs> okay, this room is going to take a long time if I let it, so I'm going to switch to Fight Saber. Just kind of unload into it. Uh, that guy needs to get out of the way of this enemy. Okay. Uh, luckily for me, Elder Blank wasn't up yet, so I don't feel bad not being able to use it and stop myself from taking damage. Um, back to the Jolter. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Jolter as our room-clearing weapon for right now. Um, if you're wondering why I just walked into the Ice Guy there, I th honestly thought I could walk over him. Uh, if I, 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 didn't, didn't, I didn't think he took up the entire lane. I thought there was a small gap that I could get through at the top. I was wrong. Maybe if I had tried to dodge roll, I wouldn't have taken damage. Um, but it's too late for that. It's already done. Okay, that was an easy enough room. So I'm thinking back to the boss fight, and, uh... Almost took hit. So I'm thinking back to that boss fight we just did against the Mind Flayer. And what I'm thinking is, should I have used the Anvil? And then I thought back to uh, that phase where it throws out the bell men, little bell guys, and uh, how the Anvil would have just cut straight through all of them and all of their shots would have spewed out from the middle, and how terrible that would have been. 
and so I decided it was probably a good thing that I did not use the Anne villain on that fight. But I bet that would have been cool to watch. I was just thinking about trying to use it on this boss fight. I was like, well, what boss would I use against? The Wallmonger? Probably not. Kill Pillars? I, I still don't think so. Um, and then the High Priest, I I just hate that boss. I just hope I if I don't acknowledge that it exi exists, then maybe I won't have to fight it. That boss has just been the destroyer of some runs that have gone very well. Its attacks are obnoxious, I find. Oh, this is amazing. Um, you know what? I don't even care what our shop has. I'm giving this all of our money. So we're giving it 10. We're going to give it 20. We're going to give it 30. It wants 40 more. So as soon as we get 11 more, we're going to give it 40. Uh, if there is a sell creep in the shop, we're probably going to sell something. Probably like the Gungeon Ant and whatever else. What that shrine does is uh, occasionally you'll see a long string of bullets shoot out. That's what that shrine does. It takes one bullet and turns it into many. And it is so valuable. So, so valuable. That's amazing. Could you imagine that with the scrambler? It's shooting out, you know, five, five eggs at once. That's nuts. That's so strong. <laughs> Um, so what do we got here? That is Wolf Jr. Oh, so that's what you get for beating the past with the Hunter. Uh, faithful companion, waited years for his master's return. Kept the Hunter company long ago, reunited with his master through the fractured time stream. Um, okay. So, I'm not sure if that... If this Wolf does combat? because the hunter's main dog does not do combat. Um, or if this is just like, hey, maybe it can find more items for you. Uh, anyways, I'm not that worried about it. At this point, everything on top is just gravy. Everything on top of what we already have is just gravy. Got a chest? And the chest has cigarettes and health. Um, <laughs> wow. Trusty lockpicks I could probably get rid of. Um, there's not going to be four more locks that we need to pick through. Wow. Um, so, the cigarettes, I don't know if I really want to use right away. I kind of want to have some, some health to back them up. If we had some health drops on the floor, I'd be more likely to use it. Although it does work with nano machines, where every four times you use it, you get an armor. So that kind of mitigates some of the risk of, of using it. Uh, unfortunately, every time I just take damage like that, uh, I get nothing. Other Well, that's not true. I get um, one stack towards nano machines paying off. But something like this, if I already have one H, you know, half a heart laying on the floor, why not? If I'm at full health, sure. Uh, so this looks terrible. I hate this. Um, namely the multiplying enemy and then this jammed fool here in the in the center. As long as I can stay away from the jammed fool, I think we'll be okay. And it does look like this wolf is fighting enemies, so that's, that's cool. I wonder if that means he's not going to dig up items for us. Um... Another room full of pretty basic enemies. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Blue shotgun man, regular bullets, you know, standard stuff. Um, yeah, just knock those fools off the off the ledge there. Easy enough. Um, not take damage walking across. Very nice. So I can go back and give that shrine more money. I don't know what it caps out at. I don't know if there is a cap for it. I hope not. If it just goes infinitely as long as you can feed it, um, that would be crazy. I I'm imagining a situation where you have, uh, what was it called, like bag of cash or something that you get for clearing the past with the convict. Um, it gives you like 250 credits and then a couple hegemony credits. 
Um, I'm thinking of a run with that and like the Crown of Coins, I think it's called, uh, that gives you, it's basically the same thing as the Ammo Synthesizer, but with money. Uh, it's like, play well, get money. So yeah, we're going to offer 40 coins. And basically, at the end, what I'm getting at here is I'm imagining a run where you come across that shrine with all the right items, and you end up walking away with like 10 stacks of the of the bonus on you. So like, every shot is shooting out 5 or 6 bullets. <laughs> and I don't know if it increases the, uh, the likelihood of the bullet chain happening, or if it is the same chance every time, but the length of the bullet chain increases. Because, like, that one was only two. So I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll take another hit of cigarettes. Grab our HP. And we found the shop where there is more health for sale. Um, so maybe we'll just do this. Pop. Oh, you know what? I can't afford that. I should not have done that. Plus, any, any money we get is going into the shrine. Okay, well, I uh, used half a heart but gained an armor, so it kind of broke even. Um, we will not be able to do another round of the shrine. Well, unless the boss gives us a ton of money. Uh, what do we want to use here? I'm thinking the scrambler. Um, scrambler. Yeah, scrambler, and then... Um, Alright, I already have Elder Blank pulled up, so that's good. Then we're just trying to not take damage. Okay, so I'm going against the grain here. Just trying to take out maybe, you know, focus on one of these guys at a time as best as I can. Um, this phase, it's difficult to kind of stay on one of them uh, without kind of putting yourself in more compromising situations. I'm looking for the ammo chain off of my scrambler here, and I'm not seeing it. Okay, I'm gonna just blank that. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not saying I'm I, I'm getting cheated off of this, but I'm definitely a little displeased that I'm not seeing just a chain of eggs shooting out of the end of this gun. We did take a hit there. That's very unfortunate. Um, but all of these guys are very close to dying. Okay, so there's the ammo, or the bullet chain I was looking for. Showed up right at the end for me. Said, fine, bitch about it. We'll give you two. <laughs> okay. Now I wonder if we got something like hip holster. If that would synergize with the YV shrine. Because that would, that would just be one more thing to top the top our ice cream sundae with because that's really what we've built on this run this is just this is just dessert it's everything you want and you know then they're like oh but how about this also you didn't know you needed this but you need this um let's pop that in here no no secret room okay uh there does not appear to be anything else for us on this floor so let's go on down down to the forge. So yeah, earlier on when I was saying, I don't know if bullet hell is looking that good for us, we may not even make it there. Uh, it's looking, I'm not going to say guaranteed, but we are in a very good position for it when we get, if we get to it. Um, okay, so you are getting buffed, so let me kill the fool that is buffing you. I have... It must have been the butterfly bullet. I didn't even see it coming at me. Um, okay. Those guys are all dead. We have this room, which... I don't know. It's annoying, but... I found that it's not that... It's not as bad as I thought it was when I first came across it. I had a really hard time with it at first without taking damage. Um, what do we have up here? We got, oh, one of those guys. Uh, he shoots the jammed bullet that when it hits a wall, it breaks apart into regular bullets. A little ring of firepower. 
Alright, take out the Cubulons and the Red Mage. I'm glad the Red Mage died before he could really do anything too devastating to us. Um, take out the man in the corner. A little flame ball in the corner, I guess. I don't know if uh, whatever that creature's species is has gender, so flame thing, flame creature, flame ball creature thing. Flame ball. Uh, I guess it just has a proper species name. We could call it that. I just don't know what that species name is. I'm gonna call it Hothead. Such a hothead. Throwing his fire and ire all over the floor. I see I said his again. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. On to this room where we've got a. Uh, some bullets flying out of nowhere, apparently. I don't know where I took damage there. Then these little guys. Some mad little blobs. Dodge across the fire. Avoid taking damage. If you're on fire, what do you do? You stop, drop, and roll. We've all learned this from an early age. Whatever happens when someone's on fire in a movie, they run like hell. They don't even think about stop, drop, and roll. Uh, okay, so the Skelly Man got summoned. Uh, where is your keeper, Skelly? There he is. Uh, and there is the Skelly Skull. To be obliterated. Okay, um, oh. I almost didn't move for that... For that sniper shot. Coming out hot. Oh, that rhymed. I should be a rap star. Okay. Oh. Where did those shots come from? I feel like he shot those out really fast. Why? Okay, so I'm hoping this loops around to this item room we've got over here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed that the that that's going to be the item room. I have no idea what what hit me there, honestly. Uh, I'm noticing that a lot on this run is I'm taking damage and I have no idea why. Is it me? Is it you? What's happening? Okay. Just dodge roll around everything. Don't worry. Um, I'll run out of ammo soon enough. And then I'll just switch to another gun. They, uh, never mind. I will not run out of ammo soon enough. They will not let me. Thank you, game, for taking ammo synthesizer seriously. Hey, we found a secret room. Cool. Um, wow. One more thing for our ice cream sundae here. Galactic Meta Medal of Valor. Galactic Medal of Valor. Significantly increases damage dealt to powerful foes. Medal awarded for bravery in the face of certain doom. But most importantly, you didn't let them down. Good work, Marine. You get that for beating the pass with the Marine. Um, we've got an Elder Blank. Let's use it. Pick up a regular blank. And two red hearts. Oh boy. Um, so let's open this first. Gives us... Was that the Phoenix? Yeah. And then we will pop our cigarettes a couple of times. And uh, it gave us a, an armor even. So yeah, we got a lot of value out of this. Um, and cigarettes... I think we've gone over it before. It's a... Uh, Okay, can result in a serious health problems and even death. They do have a certain appeal, though. So what it does is it takes away a half heart or basically deals one point of damage to you, so a half heart or a piece of armor, and then increases your coolness stat, which is an invisible stat, so we don't see it, um, but we see the effects of it in terms of item drops, in terms of, I think maybe the rarity of chests has to do with it, or that may be another... Uh, that may be a whole nother stat in general. Um, but basically, drops at the end of rooms is a big... Uh, it, it's, it's something that is greatly affected by your coolness. I'm trying to think of what else would be... If, oh, your... The other major thing that's affected by coolness is your active item cooldown. Um, so we do have enough for any one of these... 
And honestly, Buzzkill is pretty good. It shoots out um, circular saw blades that I believe bounce and continue to do damage. Glacier is really good. It shoots out ice cubes that um, break apart when they make contact. And uh, they explode and break bullets, basically. Um, let's take the Buzzkill. Uh, I guess I also could have done a round with uh, one of these and the cigarettes. Uh, we still have another item room. Since we're definitely going to go down to bullet hell, I would like to find this other item room just to give me more... Uh, just... just more. <laughs> We've gotten really good drops on this run. Uh, one more really good drop, I will not pass up. I, I guess really just the potential for another good drop. I'm not going to pass it up. I mean, with my luck, it's going to be... I mean, it could be anything. We, we, we could end up with... I mean, actually anything in the game we haven't already come across. And we don't even know what kind of rarity the chest is going to be. It could be anything. It could be another black chest. I mean, I think I was complaining earlier about never finding a rainbow chest. Maybe they're going to throw one at me now. That would be incredible. Um, I don't know what the hell this room is. This is weird, and I don't like it. I don't think I've ever seen that trap room before. But I do not care for it, I know that. Um, okay, enemies dead. <sighs> enemies dead, yes. Sentence. I think that counts. Okay. All of the enemies in that room have been taken care of. And I don't mean like, oh, I took such good care of them. I invited them over for the weekend, and really, uh, anything they needed, I was hand and foot. Um, no. Um, I took care of them. Took them out. Mob style. Okay, so yeah, it's another very, you know, good rarity chest here. And we got the crescent shot, or crescent cross, crescent crossbow. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Um, I'm going to pop into this room. We have one more room left down here, and it's some sort of special room. It's probably a gun muncher. Uh, nope, it's another shop. So, oh my god, this might be really good for the next floor, but we don't have really any keys for it. Um, yeah, uh, how many guns do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Huh. I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on this, actually. There's a reason I was counting my guns, but... Uh, there's, a, there's a secret room on Bullet Hell that has a special gun muncher on it. Um, but it takes a ton of guns, and I, I don't remember how many. If it's like 10 or 15 or 5... I, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not even going to mess with it on this run. That's why I was thinking about the um, Brick of Cash also. Okay, so we've got the Elder Blank ready to go, loaded up. We just need him to throw some bullets at us that I don't want to dodge. And we also have a ton of regular Blanks also. If I can get away with saving those for the next floor, that would be amazing. Now, I'm not expecting to flawless this fight, but I also said that the last time and beat the hell out of it with not nearly what we're carrying on this run. Yeah, I'm just going to blank that one. It's one of those attacks I hate. Just do not like it. Wow. Um, I don't know if you're seeing this, but our Elder Blank is recharging at a rate that is just through the roof. Um, for the, for this phase, I'm thinking Science Cannon might be really good. Beam Weapons against the Heart, um, I really like, just because it's that constant tick of damage. And if I'm not mistaken, the Science Cannon should be able to apply some status effects, so it might cause, like, burning or poison. Yeah, it's at least poisoning him right there. Uh, it didn't seem to do that much damage, though. Maybe I will switch it to... Maybe we'll go back to the Scrambler. I mean, we know that was doing well. Scrambler or the Jolter, maybe? 
I do really like the Jolter. It's great for clearing out rooms. It's great for killing bosses. It's just a high damage, high magazine capacity weapon. It's what you're looking for in this kind of situation. Yeah, that did that did very well against it. I'm happy with that. So we took one hit of damage right at the end. Oh, that's obnoxious. We unlocked the Cobalt Hammer. That's, um... And the Ancient Hero's Bandana. I'm not sure what you have to do to unlock those. Maybe you have to kill the Dragon a certain, a certain number of times. Um, anyways, we are going to continue on down to Bullet Hell. Now, this is going to look a little bit different than it did last time. The little space has been ripped open and uh, we jump down in here the hand will still reach up and grab us even if you try to jump in on your own free will they're like no you're coming with us it's like no I know I know it's like when a cop's trying to arrest you not that I've been arrested but you know TVs movies whatever cops trying to arrest them like I'm not resisting arrest I'm not resisting arrest that's what it feels like and the cops like shut up you're resisting arrest this is, you know, I, I can't point to anything in real life that has mimicked that art. Um, but I have to assume that the art imitates life. Okay, so we took a couple hits already. Not a good start. Um, I do have a hard time with those enemies, though. Just the wavy bullets. I should have just blanked them before it became a problem. Uh, it's the little enemies with the white stalked heads that you got the wavy bullets they break my brain it's just the way they move across the room and then also the way that they um, the way they break apart and then continue to move doesn't really make sense to me um, so this is bullet hell we didn't see a whole lot of on the last run I think I only made it a couple rooms in uh, so yeah, there's definitely, I'm pretty sure that dude is stuck in the wall right there. And I don't know if he's going to come out or not, but it looks like he might. There's the, this little bullet thing right here in the wall. I'm expecting it to come to life here in any minute here. Um, but anyways, last run we didn't get to see very much of bullet hell. But it's a huge map. Um, so earlier on we could have picked up the compass, and right now I'm kind of regretting it. Especially considering, um, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of the cigarettes at this point. It's doubtful I'm going to find myself back at full HP with more health on the floor to spare. Um, so maybe I should have taken the compass, but we got a lot of value out of the cigarettes when we, when we were using them. Fortunate. Unfortunate. Oh god, uh, what do I even want to fight this guy with? Maybe maybe the science cannon? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do enough to kill him in one round. And it was. Okay, uh, so this room is crazy. It's like, oh, here, fight all of these huge enemies that are normally gigantic pains in the ass. Okay, is this guy just not going to die? Was he frozen at a state where he was trying to transition? I don't know. That was strange. Another enemy. Wow. Okay. Man, I love the particle effects for the science cannon. Maybe that's why I'm so drawn to it. Um, switch out to maybe the Ann villain again. This was doing very well for us earlier in the run. And especially with the shrine bonus of extra bullets, um, this could be ridiculous at clearing out rooms. I'm just picturing, uh, a row of anvils shooting across the room all being guided like uh, what is it synchronized ballet beautiful oh come on bullet hell why why you gotta do me like this throwing all the enemies at me making it so difficult to dodge okay wow these guys are taking hits, too. Okay, one more? Okay. Um, 
Actually, more than one more. Way more than one more enemy. Alright, I blanked way too late on that. This, uh... I don't think the anvil is where I want to go on, on this room. I did use another blank just to kind of escape out of that corner. Um, yeah, fight saber, I guess, is what I'll use for right now. And villain just kind of seems too dangerous. I don't trust myself with it. I'm having a hard time actually hitting the enemies and then keeping one eye on myself to make sure I stay safe. We're gonna just blank that. Just blank it all. Blank it all the blank. Okay, we got some ammo. Um, what is that going to go to? Scrambler, I think. That's gonna be our best uh, best weapon against the boss, I believe. Um, what did we use on the last boss fight? The dragon. Was it the scrambler? Um, oh, I, I, I was thinking the jolter, but that was um, just right at the end. Right at the very end there of the heart phase. Okay. Um, I need a good angle to fight these guys at. That was not it. Okay, we have one little connecting room in here. Oh boy. Um, wow. I don't like that. Not for a second. You can't just do that in a tiny little enclosed space like this. Yeah, this floor is huge. I hope we're going towards the boss. We don't have very much health left. I'd at least like to make it to the boss chamber. If we make it to the boss chamber, um, then okay, that's fine. If we make it to the boss and die on the boss, that's I, I, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm not expecting to, you know, kill this boss every video from here on out. I, I don't see that happening. Hell, I'm surprised I'm killing the dragon with regular consistency. I feel like you killed all of the main characters past in four videos. And maybe it was a little more than that. I think I messed one up. Oh, I messed up the pilot's past and then weird things um, happened with that. I didn't mess up the pilot's past. I messed up the video for the pilot's past and had to redo it. Oh, thank you for the health. I appreciate it. Thank you for not making me roll off the edge there. I thought I was a fool and uh, had a bad angle. Let's clear all of that nonsense out with a blank. The Elder Blank is recharging at such a pace that I should not be afraid to use it whenever it's available. Against the boss, especially when the Scrambler is going, pff, forget about it. It just goes. It's, it's up every couple of seconds. That dragon fight, it was... I mean, I was able to use it several times. It's just every couple seconds, as soon as those little chickadees hit the... hit the boss, it's like, oh! Your item's back up. You're welcome. Yeah, these enemies. I hate those bullets. I'd, I'm much more comfortable just blanking them than actually trying to dodge around them. Just the way that they wibble wobble like that. I don't like it. I do not like it. Um, I guess I did buy this. I should probably use it at some point. Yeah, look. It's just little saw blades that bounce around the room and kill the shit out of dudes. Oh, boy. Um, as far as the map generation goes on this floor, I don't really know any tricks to looking for the boss room. All I could really guess is that it's going to be further away from the starting room than, than closer to it. I would not expect the boss room to be, you know, two to five rooms away from the starting room. I expect you'd have to go through a gambit of, uh, I took a stupid path there, a gambit of rooms. Uh, for example, all of this. <laughs> so, there's actually even more paths up here. And that is going away from the starting room. So let's come up here. Um, I, I'm trying to make as direct a path as possible to the boss fight. It's not like there's really anything else special here. It's just a lot of very difficult enemies that can rip you to shreds in 
really just one bad room is all it takes for, for this run to be over. Um, I did take damage there, that was bad. I also blanked, but it was, I think, after I took damage, so that's also bad. I used the Elder Blank, so it's not that big of a deal. That was a regular blank, and, uh, whew, thought I was going to take some damage there anyway, anyways. Elder Blank's almost back up, should be after I kill this guy. Yeah, it's back up. Okay, those enemies are dead. Um, let's, I guess, come over to this room. That room did not hold any, any endgame path for us. Maybe this one will. Um, okay, so we've got some flame heads. We've got a little turret here that's going to shoot out fireballs. Um, even after the room is cleared, it'll continue to fire fireballs at us. Um, so you just kind of have to be careful. Treat it like the hammer room on the forge. Just be careful around it. Take your time. Don't let it trip you up. Um, there's two skeleton summoners. Hell no. Get out of here with that nonsense. Um, okay, I can dodge out of that. Just barely, though. I managed to hang on to my health a little longer than anticipated. We have the boss fight. Um... I'm thinking Scrambler, and when, if, when, if that runs out of ammo, we'll just see where we're at, I guess. Uh, this is the Lich. I, um, really should have let the intro video play there. Um, if you haven't seen it, though, you can check it out on, you know, you're already on YouTube. Just look it up. And sorry, I, I don't mean to say that, like... God, why do you want me to do the work for you? I could have just let that video play. Um, I messed up. Maybe I'll play, let it play through on the on the next episode that we get down here. Or maybe I'll just do a super cut of all the boss intros. So that went very well, but I think part of it has to do with a very strong setup. So that's phase one of the Lich fight. Phase two is about to begin. Here we go. Uh, this phase, this phase sucks. There's an attack on this phase that I understand it, but there's still nothing I can do, <laughs> I, uh, if that makes sense. Um, wow. And also, I'm not very familiar with this boss fight. I've, I've only fought it like maybe twice, three times tops. This attack. I hate this attack. <laughs> Um, I'm surprised I got through it without taking damage. I usually try to the first time and then end up just blanking the next try. Wow! So that's the second phase down. Not a flawless, but it's looking like it could be close to one. So on to the third phase of this fight. And um, really just doing damage here. Okay, so you can fall off the edge. Something to keep in mind. <laughs> uh other something to keep in mind is that my elder blank will be recharged pretty much always um so i could just I, I don't like that i'm just gonna get rid of that attack entirely and then it's already charged back up again <laughs> yeah this is nuts wow so we killed the shit out of the lich there um no why would i want to shoot myself right no why would i shoot myself there the crosshairs came on to me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, buddy. So we unlocked Riddle of Lead, and uh, we killed the crap out of that guy. We also unlocked the Gungeon Blueprint. Um, anything else for killing the Lich? Doesn't look like it. So that's it for this episode. Um, I'm very proud of that one. Thanks for hanging out and watching it. If you like this video and want to see more of it, you can go ahead and click subscribe. Uh, go ahead and click the like button so I know that you liked it. You can catch me on, li on Twitch.tv live streaming. Uh, you're going to find me at Twitch.tv slash BigBadBardMedia. You can also follow me on Twitter at BigBadBardMedia. I post to Twitter anytime I'm going live or anytime I post a new video. So you can go there to get updates on anytime something new is coming out from me. And if you don't want to do any of those things and just hang out and watch the next video, I get it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.